here's another GE clock radio. This one looks to be one of the newer models. It still has the wood grain top to it. It's like a, a deeper cherry colored wood. Oh, it has a battery in it, so maybe we can see what the date is on the battery. It looks like it's starting to expand, although it hasn't leaked yet. The battery is made in USA, which is probably why it hasn't leaked. And it's dated January 2001, so this must be relatively old. Date code is 4314K. We have the Amphim switch on the back. This is the volume knob and then tuning. This is kind of different. Let's excuse the water dripping in the background. Something's leaking. Um, looks like this is a two alarm uh, version. Sleep. Radio on and off. I don't see a way to change the brightness of the clock. I do like that it has forwards and backwards. A lot of these clocks, like the one I have upstairs, I only have forwards. And so you're setting the alarm and you're tired and you want to go to sleep and you know, you're know you doing it fast and then it goes like half an hour too fast, which happens in a second, and then you got to go all over again. So it's nice you can just go backwards a little bit. They're very clicky buttons. Um, tuning mechanism seems to work. So um, let's go ahead and plug this in. It has a polarized plug, which also leads me to believe that it's newer. Maybe that was just an old battery that was put in there. Actually, the battery's kind of odd. It's got like a square top to it. Okay, so the clock appears to be working. Let's go ahead and set this. Right now it's just shy of 7.15, so we'll do fast. And just for the purpose of saving time on the video, now see, I just went too fast, and so we'll just go back. Uh, it's actually PM, but we'll, we'll set it to AM just to save time in the video. So, um, okay, that's good. It looks like all these buttons work. Let's turn the radio on. I'll turn the volume down. Turn this on. Let's start it up. It sounds like it's gone AM. I'm going to change it over to FM. Ah, it's already tuned in. Hey, we'll start all the way down at 88 megahertz. Okay, we're going to skip over that. I'm not as impressed with the sound quality of this one as I was the last one I recorded. This one's got very strong mid-range and it kind of washes out the high frequencies and there's not too much of a low frequency to it. I mean, it's it's still not bad for a small radio, but I think the other one was better. Normal. Is there something that communities in California just in the future in which? Of course, on the other hand, this one seems to be picking up a lot more frequencies. Now, we are in the transitionary time of the day. It's it's 
just before uh, dusk. Actually, it kind of is dusk, so there could be a change in the atmosphere between the time I did the previous video and now. I don't know if that's the cause of the greater reception on this one or not. You think denser communities are more likely to... The same or possibly even lower now for an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. No, oh, yeah, free $250, sure. Text, tap to 85850. Oh, That's T A. That's probably 99.1 megahertz. That's probably 99.9 .9 megahertz. So I think the thing is a little bit uh, forwards. This one's not capturing too much of these higher numbers either. Oh, maybe it is. Let's see what number is this one. Is it going to say what number is this? I don't know what saying what the number is. Okay, that's the end of the range there. So again, it's not a bad quality, but I think the other one's a little better. We'll go to AM now. And this sounds like it's picking up a little better than the other radio was. It's not. That's probably 880 megahertz. It's a news channel. And this is the combination of 600 and who knows where the other channel is. There's definitely two channels there. That's so odd. And I listen to that channel occasionally. I've never remember hearing that. Music channel, and it's that. So I'll switch it back to phone. Was there pushback? Yes, but lawsuits are one thing, and when people's lives lawsuits, are being goodbye. Okay, um, let's put the alarm on. Move this over to set, and let's see. It's at 7:20, so I'll set it to like 7:22. Fast forwarding. Five six. Seven and it's seven twenty one, so 
go ahead and put this to 722 and we'll do alarm and now we wait can uh, watch water drip too and we're still waiting for the alarm to go off and I'm sure somebody's going to get in the comments box and go nuts about how I should have cut this part out of the video. I don't have time for that. i got other things to do today. Like wait for alarm clocks to go off. Should be getting close. Quite the hum to it. Okay. Well, it looks like that all works. So it's not too dirty either, but we'll clean that up and this will be a nice clock to use.